we rolling? Okay. Yes, we are back. Cam Corder, Tina Time, and Jenny, what's the name of your, uh... Yeah. Don't well, you have a sign Don't I have a what? A page? Or thing? Oh, is that, you mean... A handle? My music? Yes. Oh, Jen Stays Music. Yeah. Jen Stays Music. What's the name of your band? Oh, Jen Stays and the Blues Fish. There you there go. You go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Green Designs. Thank you. I'm chocolate. I'm chocolate. I'm chocolate. All right. One more question, then we got an announcement, and then I'm going to do a little interviewing myself. Oh, um, dear. Last question. Okay. Oh. Yes. Really? Really, <laughs> Debbie? <laughs> Were you guys on the Lawrence Welk show? Oh, OMG! For 50, how, how old are you? For 700 years. Never. Since, Never the, asked that since question. the Civil War, people have thought we were on the our Lawrence Welk show. He followed us, but I don't know why. We introduced the Lawrence Welk show every well, now. Uh, well, at the end of our show. When he first introduced us, he said, we're going to be on just before Lawrence Welk pops his cork. Oh, okay. Big Crosby said that. But so, fans right. have always said, yes. oh, you were yeah, on the Lawrence Welk, Welk show. We were never on the Lawrence <laughs> Welk show. Can we have this We style? are the King family. family. <laughs> okay. Now, I've told you and I've hinted to some of you you've seen on uh, on my page and stuff. Sorry. I have, too. A, I have a bucket list thing and I approach these particular yes, four ladies. And, and after I... After this bucket list thing is completed, then I can drive off a cliff and be, <laughs> be done with this cruel old world. On my bucket list, I the last thing is I want to sing with my family You're again. You make me cry when you mm -hmm. say that. And so I called up these ladies and I said, what do you feel about getting a show together based on our mother's music? So... We have been rehearsing all day and all last night and yeah. a, a couple, about Once. a month ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, using the music that they sang in the 50s and 60s. So not the big band stuff. Right, not the 40s. Um, but the jazzy stuff. The, the, the Harris Club. Harris the Rat, Harris. Pack, Rat stuff Pack stuff from their casino days and yeah. all. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and I got to say... We got out the gate a little, <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, we can't make this happen. This is not going to work. Their harmonies oh, are so, so complicated. Amazing. It sounds simple, but, it's but they're, me. they're hard and they're wonderful. I'm on the whole night long. I'll fetch your slippers, honey. I'll scratch your back. Taken these uh, parts. parts off of uh, off of these songs, oh, yeah. and so we're doing like our mom's Charts. casino club. tribute to the King's yeah. sisters. And they were gnarly. But we also heard crazy. most of the songs, most of our our Lives. youth.
ask you guys, um, what is something from that era about our moms that made this, I mean, for me, I can say just for a starter, yeah. the big band stuff, I wasn't around for it. So I can appreciate it like I can appreciate the Andrews or the Boswells. Mm -hmm. And I know it's my mommy, but I don't have a connection mm -hmm. to that music like I do to the jazz of the 50s and 60s. Mm -hmm. what, what, what pulls you into want to do this? One at, one at a time. Okay. Go. Go. Well, I mean, I think it's exactly what you said because, of course, we're the same era. But I just, the jazz, and they were so hot <laughs> at that time. I mean, they were hot. Don't you? No, know, yeah. They, they were. weren't. They weren't. The music was uh, the best harmonies yes. that I, I've ever heard. And yeah. I'm, and I'm really. Feel that I'm being objective about that. <laughs> I, do, I really do. It, no, they advice. were just exactly. amazing vocalists, and um, we and learned women, women. a lot of those harmonies. Yeah. We learned a lot of those songs while we were playing, the while womb. they were rehearsing. In the womb, yeah. actually, literally. literally. Children. We were, and yeah. the other thing you said today that I thought was really important, and you, you're going to have to rephrase it for me, but the right. DNA that there are groups yeah. please tell them that okay. because manhattan transfer for example which is not unlike what our moms sang is an amazing vocal group mm -hmm. but they uh are not related uh whether it's the jackson five or the lennon sisters or the osmond brothers or the pointers uh okay. sister sledge, sledge yeah when you come from the same dna pool Family. you you, <laughs> you kind of get to cheat because you already blend. All of us are like smoky whiskey tenors. And so just opening up, you know, starting to rehearse and it's like already halfway there just because the sound Sounds. is like one, you know, one voice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like so uh, Richard really... and Karen Carpenter. Oh, they're yes. blends. Yeah. 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 When you hit those harmonies and everybody. Yeah, you just go so it's fun. Just... It's so it's thrilling. Just, yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Especially when it's really, really time. close. And having our baby cousin with mm -hmm. us is extra yeah. special because we didn't get to perform as much with you because well, you were I, so little. I feel like I got to perform with you guys. Well, yeah, because you, but you were I in a different, up. but you were in a yeah. different I, age, thing, group, right. age group. But she did a but she ton of performing. With, she yeah. sang yeah. with her mom and with uh, Susanna. Also, yeah, we did a tribute to the King Sisters, yeah. and that yeah, was, yeah. I think that was one of the reasons why I had no problem saying yes, because we were able to do that with our mother, and that was mm -hmm. an amazing experience, to learn those parts and, and sing those songs that she sang with her sisters, mm -hmm. your mothers, yeah. was, you know, you can't... So place that. That's yeah. just... It's a legacy. Yeah. So it's a legacy. we're a ways out. So don't start writing and say, when are you doing it? <laughs> I'm thinking spring or summer. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that, uh, of 2024. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I will leave you with this one image. And I want to thank you guys on tape. Uh, tape? Do we, no, whatever this yeah. is, in cyber stand. <laughs> <laughs> I have had so much fun this weekend rehearsing. Yeah. Oh, it's it was. been wonderful. And we are working on one song from their last, probably their last real album, uh, called Who Would Remember? Mm -hmm. I won't go into it other than that we couldn't get through we're singing this for the tears. And the DNA, <laughs> yeah. the DNA that we share and the memories. And they're all up there. So. Yeah. yeah. So I will leave you with this image. You're asleep at the hotel. Oh. They're still singing. They're probably doing their last set at, what, 2 a.m.? Yeah. 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 So like nice. that, the door opens to your hotel room. In walks this jingling sound. It's not Santa. It's a charm bracelet on this woman's arm. Mm -hmm. She comes up to you. She is wearing sable or fur or mink. Mm -hmm. yep. She's wearing white Estee Lauder. Of course, Estee yes. Lauder. She yeah. smells of she tobacco. Aquanet. 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 Tobacco. And the scotch. And scotch. From all the casino. And she leans in to kiss you goodnight. And how does she do that kiss? No, she doesn't want to mess up. She doesn't want to mess up her makeup. <laughs> or she doesn't want us to smell their breath. <laughs> no. Sorry. No. Anyway, I hope you can grasp some of that image. And I am so looking forward to sharing 
this show with you for those of you that can come yes, out to yes. Los Angeles in 2028. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>